So Charles Silman, Mike Rogers, Rakeem Salam, and Justin Gatlin on anchor leg. Trinidad and Tobago on paper have a fabulous quartet, but they were having to rely on a fastest loser spot to get through. They've got the likes of Bledman, Cirillo, and Richard Thompson, who got the Olympic silver medal behind Bolt back in 2008. At his best, he's a 9.85 performer. But how can you beat a, a team like Jamaica that had four men in the 100 meter final? <laughs> Four out of eight men lined up with the Jamaican vest on. And you've got that in a relay team. That's pretty hard to beat, I think. Yeah, and they just happen to be the world record holder. There's two men there, <laughs> Carter and Bolt, who run on the last series of world records, winning at the world title the last two attempts. They're joined by Bailey, Cole, and Ashmead, who are fourth and fifth in the 100. Yeah, you can't get better than that. No, the, the question is how quick will they run, I think. An amazing record and Bolt of course one gold away from a quadruple treble and that is some some record if he does it yeah who would bet against him going on to add more trebles well if, if he's if he says he's up for Rio then you could be potentially that's another at, three <laughs> you could potentially be looking at Beijing in 2015 plus Rio and then bow out as a six-time treble champion right we would have him in london for 2017 as well this was an amazing run by shelley and fraser price and the whole of the jamaican team to win this by such a huge margin of course they were given the chance to run so far clear because the u.s were messing up that previous change but i'm not sure the u.s would have been anywhere near them in any case an amazing end to the championship for them is it going to be mirrored with success in the men's quartet? I'm not sure Bolt's pulse has got beyond about 45, other than his, uh, all the way through the championship, other than his two finals. Every single time the cameras are on Bolt, as we quickly look at the British quartet, every time the cameras are on Bolt, he looks 100% relaxed. He looks like he's training. Well, he is, I think, compared to the other athletes. There's no question about it. He's, when you're that much better than most of them, it's pretty easy to be relaxed. It's only when you're under pressure that obviously you get tense. Well, looks like the call's gone out to bring the athletes from the uh, call-up area out onto the track. Yeah, best of luck, guys. He's in his element. He's in his kingdom. Yeah. Well, they don't all come out together. Obviously, they're going to go all around the track. So he's saying goodbye to his teammates until he sees them again at the finish. And imagine the confidence he would instill in the rest of the team to be in the same quartet as Usain Bolt. He, his mere presence, as well as his achievements, would lift the entire psyche of the team. And uh, they must have great confidence. The fact that Nesta Carter leads them off too, because he's led them off in every major championship in recent years, lots of world records, to another very experienced campaigner. Then you can bring in two young guys in the middle, but being sandwiched between two such superstars, oh, must be a good feeling. Well, they're still going to get the baton round. They have. We've seen problems. Back in Daegu in 2011, the Jamaicans won. But then both the Americans and the British teams failed to finish. So they'll be hoping to do rather better this time. And in fact, the second, third, fourth and fifth teams on that occasion in Daegu have not made the final this time. France and Kits, Poland and Italy. So it's a bit of a changing of the guard here. Though this is probably a stronger final in depth than we had then. the Jamaican women's team at their moment in the sunshine and in the shade. A wonderful performance.